Hello and welcome to the next part in a series of tutorials where I walk you through error messages. In this case, we'll be talking about key error. What I'll do is I'll create this error message with you and then I will show you how you can handle this error. Now, a key error is raised when a mapping key is not found. And this is most common with dictionaries because each item in the dictionary, each value, has a specific key associated with it. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do with you is create this error message. So what I've done is I've created a random dictionary called random dictionary. And what I've done here is I've put equals and then in curly brackets, which denotes a dictionary, I've put the word one in as a string, and then comma is equal, is, is has a value of one as a number. And then I've done the same thing for two equals two, three equals three, four equals four, and five equals five. Not bad. So we've got one to five as the key in as a word, and that those values are one to five as numbers. And that's a dictionary. So in order to get this key error message, I what I have to do is basically what happens here is if you call your dictionary, but the value, the key value is not in the dictionary, you'll get a key error. This is because the, the coding here, the shell is running through the dictionary trying to find the value you specified and it cannot be found. It cannot find it. So when I run it, you'll get a key error message. In this case, key error six. This is because six is not found in this dictionary. And also you've got to be careful of other things like spacing and formatting. So if I rerun this and I put one, but instead of having a smaller O for the one, I start with a capital O and then I run it again, you'll get the key error message, key error one, but with a capitalized O. So just be careful of capitalization. Also be careful of spacing as well. So if I do one with a space, I also get the key error one with a space because even though one is a key in the dictionary that we've created, it's not the key with a space. So just be careful of that because that's one way that you can really be tripped up. Imagine going through your code and looking for a space. So the easiest way of handling this error message is with the use of a, a try and accept statement. So what is gonna happen is you're gonna try this value and you're gonna try and try this key value in this dictionary. And if this value cannot be found, in this case, we've specified the accept to be a key error, then you can print, you can have it perform a different action. In this case, we're gonna print the words item not found in dictionary. So that's how this try and accept works. So if you type in try and then colon, and then below that, we just put exactly what we put here. We put print random dictionary. I remember put, to put the assert example six, which we know is not in this dictionary. And then if we, below that we put accept with the same indentation as the try, and then we put space and then specify the error. So in this case, our accept is key error. So if we type in accept space key error and then colon and then below that we in this case I've put print and then in quotation marks I've put item not found in dictionary. So as mentioned earlier what will happen is we will try this value in this dictionary and if this value is not found and the accept and the error message here is a key error which will be raised if this value is not found, then we will print the item not found in dictionary. If the error error is not a key error, you can have another accept and you can put another error like name error or so on and so forth. And then you can have a different sort of action associated with that error. So try and accept is a really great way of handling error messages. So let's run this. So because we know six is not in this dictionary, if we run it, we should get this item not found in dictionary printed in our output on the right here. So let's run it. And here we see we have item not found in dictionary. And just to check that 
this try and accept is working, if we put a value we know that is in the dictionary, in this case one with no space and the correct formatting, we run it, you'll get the value one. So all looking good. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed uh, me walking you through how to deal and manage with key error. And please, please subscribe to my channel if you really liked it. This is a series of tutorials. I've got loads more on error messages and many other things. And please do subscribe and share and like. Thank you very much for watching.